That's okay. good. Stand by. Here we go. Here we go. Your, your full time is nine minutes. Exactly nine minutes. Okay. Two, one. You say Striper has messages in your songs, always there for you. What's the message in this song? Uh, the message for that song uh, is God is always there for, for the world. You know, for whoever needs him, for whoever calls on his name, he's always there. It doesn't matter what time of day, what day it is, uh, what year. Whenever, whenever you call on God, he's there for you. And uh, that's the, the message for that song. When you listen to that song, the average person who doesn't know that you're a Christian rock band, do you think they'll get the message? Well, I think maybe after they see this program here, they'll, they'll know what we're about. Uh, if there's people out there who listen to a Striper song and don't know we stand for Christ, uh, they after, will know. Yeah, they'll know after they listen to a couple of the other songs on the record or, or read a magazine or see a television type of thing. If they take if they take a song, and they uh, relate that song to a a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or or whatever, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's no problem with that. But we just want them to know. We want the world to know that we are talking about God, and God is our influence in every song that we write. So, uh, and like Robert said, eventually everyone will realize that, whether it be through watching us on a, a TV program or hearing us on radio or hearing our album, they'll know that uh, we give 100% to God. Looking at the video, and I've seen you guys in concert before, you don't come off as what people consider to be a contemporary Christian act. Does Thank that you. bother you? No, not at all. That's something we've always set out to be. We want to be a rock and roll band uh, that a rock and roll audience can really get into. I think that's why we're, we're doing, uh, doing what we're doing today and that's why we're opening you know, all these doors and that's why we're out there and selling so many records to non-Christians because uh, we're not like your, your typical Christian group, you know, which, which isn't bad. You know, we, we it's love. It's not us. We're all for those Christian groups and we, you know, support them 100%, but we're called to do something else. Have you been embraced by the Christian community or is it a constant battle to prove that you people are what you say you are? I think in the beginning it was a little bit of a battle, but I think now people have just learned to, uh, to believe us. Uh, we, we're not doing this for a gimmick and, and we're not out to, to mock God. Uh, we're just sincere about what we do, and, and I think the Christian community is, is beginning to see that. How about the rock and roll community? Have they accepted you? Yes, uh, they are, yes. Uh, even more so, I think, with the rock and roll community. Not just the rock and roll community, but the, the people in the world mm -hmm. who uh, are not born again. Uh, they're accepting us incredibly, and like I said, even more so, I think, than the Christian people. And let's face it, if... if you turn on the radio and you hear one of your favorite songs, you're going to listen to it, no mm -hmm. matter what the message is about. And if it happens to sing about Christ, you're still going to listen to it. And I think that's the reason that a lot of people are really turning on to Striper. It's because they hear the music and they like it. Or they see the band in video or in concert and they like it. You've gotten a lot of media attention lately. Has it been good attention or bad attention. So it's all been good. It's been good. Uh, every now and then, it, it's a rare case, but every now and then we'll get some somebody who does an interview with us or an interview, uh, a TV or radio, whatever it may be, and uh, you know, they're, you can tell that they're not a big fan of Stripers, but... But that's how it is with every rock yeah, and roll band. Yeah, that, that happens. Do you get people, like, if you were a quote-unquote standard rock and roll group, would be sitting here talking about your new album and blah blah past albums etc here we're talking about your association with the christian community do you wish sometimes that people would just put that aside and talk to you as a rock and roll band sometimes uh, well you know people are beginning to talk to us more about the music we just don't want to see it sway from one side or to the other too much because striper is a balance of both and when people talk about 
uh, either one issue or the other too much. It it, it tips the the balance of what Striper really is. Mm -hmm. So we we do want to talk about our music, but I will say one thing: I'm glad we're not the standard rock and roll band. Also, a lot of the questions that are you know asked of Striper are are very similar. So on that sense. Uh, we would, you know, uh, like people to ask, you know, to step out a little bit and, and ask some uh, different questions that have been asked of Striper in the past. And uh, we'll answer anything, you know, we'll talk about anything, but hopefully we will always give glory to God in every answer that we give. Robert, let me ask you your pose on the back of that album cover. Would you consider that suggestive at all? Not at all. Not at all. And that's one thing I've been confronted uh, with from a lot of Christian people. You know, what's different from that picture than a guy standing on the beach in his bathing suit? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people go, well, it's a suggestive pose. I don't believe so. There's nothing. It's just a rock and roll pose. Mm -hmm. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of times, that's just somebody's opinion. They can't pull it out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Bible doesn't say... Uh, you're not supposed to be in a rock band. You're not supposed to wear a shirt. It's just a lot of people's opinions sometimes. What's the biggest misconception about your group? Well, there's a lot of different misconceptions. One of them is that we're a religious band. We're not a religious band. We just sing about Christ. We don't sing about religion. Mm -hmm. uh, another misconception is, is we're just in this for the money and, and it's a gimmick. Uh, that's not true. We do make money, and it takes money in this business to keep the wheels rolling. Another one also is uh, people get so caught up in the controversy and in uh, Striper's stand about Christ that they, they don't even give the music a chance, a, right. fair, a fair chance. And if people were to only listen to our music, and I don't say this in a prideful way or a cocky way at all, but... <laughs> We're not a bad band, you know, obviously mm -hmm. not. We're, we got uh, top 40 singles. We're selling albums. Somebody must think that we have decent music. And I wish more people, more of those somebodies, would would accept our music as well and say, you know, these guys don't have bad music. This is enjoyable music. Let's listen to their music instead of criticize the fact that they serve Christ. You know what? We'd like the music to do the talking and the message to do the touching and uh, to touch people's hearts. And uh, like Mike said, a lot of times people will just look at a Striper album and if they see the words, In God We Trust, they'll just throw it out. They won't listen to the music. So we do want people to, to listen to the music. And I think if a lot of people gave that a chance, uh, they would like the music. Yeah. Do you think down the road you might say, hey, we have to play down the message thing? No, we'll never, ever, ever do that. As a matter of fact, I see down the road uh, getting bolder and bolder and bolder, and I think that's what's happened from the first mm -hmm. album up to the, the latest album, In God We Trust. We'll never play it down because I feel when we do play it down, we're being hypocrites, and we're, we're well, totally just backing up as far as our stand on Christ. You know, a lot of people may say that we play it down also, but the thing is, as long as it's done in a rock and roll way, in a striper way, we're not playing anything down. Mm-hmm. Do you have a new band member? Is that true? Or is it still the three of no, the four no, of us? No, no, no. It's, it's still the four it's of us. It's the four of us. We, we have a fifth member. His name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> There's but, a lot of rumors out there, so if you heard we have a new member, that's not true. It's, so Oz it's, Fox is still with the group? Oz Fox <laughs> is still with the group. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's yeah. been with the group. He was... Uh, not really out of the band, but uh, there was a little uh, a little outgoing we had, not verbally or physically or anything. It's just that, you know, he, he saw a different thing at one point, and we saw a different thing at one point. And, uh, but that, and that, not, that was uh, ages ago. Though. Not in conflict of message or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Uh -huh. In 10 seconds, what would you say to people to get them to buy this album or at least give it a chance? Well, it's a good record. It's got great music on it, and it's got a great message. And we just hope that people who hear the music will also hear the message and get something from it. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank Thanks you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.